Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Good morning, this is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February 23rd, 2019. I am meteorologist Scott Martin. It will be a busy day today in the weather office as we have the potential for severe storms across central Alabama. But hang on, I promise that Sunday's weather will be much better. We'll get to those details in a moment. At 6.35 this morning, we have some scattered shower activity over the northern third of the state. None of this activity was producing any lightning at the moment. Unfortunately, these are only adding to the rainfall totals and flooding issues that continue to occur across northern Alabama. Temperatures range from the lower 50s in the extreme northern part of north Alabama to the lower 70s in the southern part of central Alabama. Tuscaloosa is actually the warm spot at 72 degrees. Fort Payne is the cool spot at 52 degrees. Birmingham was at 63 degrees. Taking a quick look at the hazards map for the southeast, we continue to see flood watches up for much of the northern half of the map with dense fog advisories back to the west and along the Gulf Coast. We also have a few wind advisories mixed in over the Mississippi and Louisiana. The good news is that there are no severe weather watches at this point, but I have a feeling that that will change later today. So as I mentioned earlier, strong to severe storms are expected across the southeast on Saturday, including damaging thunderstorm winds in excess of 60 miles per hour, large hail of one inch in diameter or more, and tornadoes, some of which could be large and long track in nature. We could see those stronger to severe storms across much of north and central Alabama late this evening and into the first few hours on Sunday. The Storm Prediction Center has locations west of a line from Sulligent to Hackleburg to Lexington defined in a moderate risk of severe storms for today. Locations east of that line stretching to a line from Geiger to Jasper to Hazel Green is defined in an enhanced risk. Locations east of that line to a line stretching from Linden to Pelham to Eider is defined in a slight risk and locations east of that to a line stretching from Hainville to Alexander City and to just west of Renburn are defined in a marginal risk of severe storms. Timing of the stronger to severe storms will be from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the moderate and enhanced risk areas, 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the slight risk area, and 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. in the marginal risk area. Once the line of storms has made it east of the risk areas, the threat of severe storms should have come to an end. The latest run of the high resolution NAM is showing that the main line of storms will move into the northwestern parts of central Alabama around 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. But it is also showing the potential for a few cells developing out ahead of the line as early as 3 p.m. The line will cross the western parts of the area and make it into the Birmingham Metropolitan and Tuscaloosa areas around 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. and into the Montgomery area around 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Daytime highs will be in the lower 70s to the mid 80s across the area from north to south with lows dipping down into the mid 40s to the lower 60s from northwest to southeast. Not only will we have the potential for strong to severe storms, a tightening pressure gradient will cause gusty winds across the area without thunderstorms. Those could be strong enough to bring down a few trees, especially with the supersaturated soil. Rain could be heavy at times on Saturday as well, which could add to the flooding issues that are already occurring. Go ahead and have your emergency plan and kit ready to go just in case your location goes under a warning. Also, have multiple ways to receive weather alerts. A flash flood watch continues in effect for Colbert, Coleman, DeKalb, Franklin, Jackson, Lauderdale, Lawrence, Limestone, Madison, Marshall, and Morgan counties in North Alabama until 12 a.m. on Sunday. An aerial flood watch continues in effect for Bibb, Blunt, Calhoun, Cherokee, Clay, Claiborne, Etowah, Fayette, Jefferson, Lamar, Marion, Pickens, Shelby, St. Clair, Talladega, Tuscaloosa, Walker, and Winston counties in central Alabama until 6 a.m. on Sunday. A much improved day on Sunday with cooler temperatures is ahead, 
Storms will be exiting the area just after sunrise and skies will quickly be clearing out behind the front. We'll have sunny skies by the afternoon and highs will be topping out in the upper 50s to the upper 60s across the area from northwest to southeast. We'll have a ton of sunshine throughout the day on Monday with highs reaching the upper 50s to the mid 60s. And we'll start off the day on Tuesday with mostly sunny skies, but clouds will begin to move in late along with a small chance of scattered showers. Highs will be in the 60s. Unfortunately, it looks like shower chances will continue to be in the forecast to end out the work week, with scattered showers possible on each day. Wednesday's highs will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s, Thursday's highs in the upper 50s to the lower 70s, and Friday's highs in the upper 50s to the upper 60s. That is all for your Weather Extreme video for today. We'll have frequent updates on the blog throughout the day and into Sunday until the threat of severe weather passes. Remember, warnings automatically post to the blog as soon as they are issued from the National Weather Service. The next video should be produced bright and early on Sunday morning by Bill Murray if the weather allows for it. I am meteorologist Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Now I'm going to enjoy me some birthday cake before the big storms hit. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.